Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town and Country Real Estate. Today is Friday, March 27th. This is just a quick update on a few topics. The first one is on the financing side. Right now, the mortgage companies are beginning to see some more changes to the loans that are being available to the marketplace. So credit scores and minimum credit scores are changing. Different types of low down payment programs are beginning to change. And again, this is all surrounded around that liquidity in the market. They're beginning to see some of these programs get eliminated altogether. What this means for consumers in the market that are shopping for a home. If you have a pre-qualification letter that's older than let's say March 25th, I highly recommend that you contact your lender and verify if your personal loan financial situation has changed or not. We don't want to have buyers in a situation where they're shopping for a home with a pre-qualification letter that's no longer valid. So that's the reason why we're encouraging that. The next thing to talk about is how many sales are actually still taking place in the market. Since Monday, and I'll put this slide in for you now and we'll scroll through it, through it. There's been over, uh, I think it's 40 properties already this week that have gone pending. And if you look at that, that is still in a really resilient number in the market. There's still sellers that want to sell. There's still buyers that want to buy. To give you an idea of what this number looks like, if we were to have a week like this, and let's say that was a transpire over the course of a month, that would mean the market would average just over 150 pendings in a month. If you go back one year ago in the month of March, and I'll throw that slide in just real quick for you, you can see that at that time, there was roughly 300 properties that went pending in the month of March. So simply stated, our sales have been cut in half as a result of what this is and what's happening, which isn't that bad considering the agents at this point are not allowed to show homes. So here's another good story. At the beginning of the week, we had a seller that really wanted to go to the market. They were willing to take the photographs on their own. They did a video on their own. They sent that to our office and we edited all of that photography and that video. We brought that up to the multiple listing service that distributed out to all the major home buyer search sites like Zillow, et cetera. And the seller has within three days received an offer on their property. The buyer was able to look at the photos, look at the video and make an educated decision on making an offer on the property. So this is just a perfect example that there are sellers in the market that can still sell. There are buyers in the market that still want to buy. And if we just work together, we can get this accommodated and have it handled for you. And at the same time, be honoring the request of the state of California to not go out and physically show these homes. So um, it's just an example I wanted to share with you. The last thing I wanted to bring up is that I suspect that over the next week or so, we might, just, we might see Redding, California become a regional medical hub uh, for all the mountain areas around us. And what that could mean is that Redding, because of its location and its access to resources, it might make sense that the state decides to have Redding become a place in which we can help people that are sick have a place to go in order to get better. So, um, you know, you can think about different sites in town. The Civic Auditorium comes to my mind, although I don't know that for sure, as a place that potentially we could be set up as a regional medical hub so these mountain communities would have resources that they could then utilize if anybody's sick, and if they don't have resources where they're at, they can bring them somewhere and not have that situation with overcrowding and things like that. So these are all obviously measures that are being taken to be extremely cautious. Hopefully it's not necessary, um, but I do suspect we might see that in the next week or so. And I wanted to share that with you now, just so you could be thinking through that and understand how important it is that Reading provide that information or provide that resource for our mountain communities that obviously need our help at this time. So if you have any questions at all about the market here in Shasta County, just know we're here to help. Thanks again for your time and we are gonna get, get through this together. Take care.